Hi guys, it's Christina from Redefine Creative. So I asked a question over on Scrapbooks Anonymous on Facebook asking about haul videos. Because I am not a super huge fan of haul videos, but I wanted to find out if people wanted to see them. And there was an overwhelming response that yes, please show them. So I'm going to try and make it quick, painless, and show you um, a bunch of the new collections that I've gotten in this week. And we'll go from there. So if haul videos aren't your thing, go ahead and pass right by this one. And there is a process video up today as well. All right, so the first collection today that I'm going to show you is Oasis, and this is from Crate Paper. And so the first thing I got was these stamps. And I really like this open, open alphabet stamp, and I do have a set from Kelly Perky. And so these are a little bit smaller than hers. So they are, in contrast, about the same size as the new ones that you've seen lately from Elle's Studio. And so they would be perfect for Project Life especially, but they would also mix really well with the Kelly Perky stamps. So you can have bigger and smaller letters or like title, subtitle. So I really like these. Um, of course, I got the ephemera pack, which I always get from almost every single collection. Um, tons of leaves, travel tags, weekend fun, that type of thing. Really a Palm Springs kind of vintagey travel feel to all of this stuff. Um, and we just got back from a trip to Palm Springs, so it's perfect. Um... 6x6 six six paper pad, which I also almost always get from a collection, especially if I'm only buying some of the six, the 12x12 12 12 papers. So I'm just going to flip through really quick. The ones that I love the most in this collection are the ones that have the black and white kind of scripty. So if you're into that contrast between color and black and white, there are some beautiful ones like this wave um, that are going to give some really good contrast. Um, this one's probably my favorite thing from the entire collection, and this is puffy stickers, but you actually get enough of each design so that you can really play with them and have fun. And they have a little bit of a watercolor look to the top of them. I know it's really hard to see that, but especially these um, pineapples, the top has some color variation, and they are absolutely adorable. My favorite thing. So super highly recommend that one. Um, these are the puffy words, and they all come in one pack. Um, so you really can't read or see a ton of them, but there's words like here, there, vacation, beautiful, weekend, um, those types of words. They're a little bit thicker, so they're pretty good quality, and these would look great with the um, Studio Calico. They make a scripty gold uh, letter sticker, and they would work perfect with this because they're about the same height and consistency as those. All right, this one is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. So you've got front and back. And there is enough on here that is versatile enough that if you don't have beach themed or Palm Springs or those types of pictures, there's a lot of things you can use. Like this Saturday, there's a ton of arrows with some gold glitter detail. Lots of great words down at the bottom. Really fun labels. So it wouldn't necessarily have to just be weekend getaway or travel. There are There's enough on here to make it worth your while. And then there's also some charm thickers, so they're called charm, and these go with the collection, and they are like a craft color with gold glitter polka dots. Super, super cute, and not like any of the other thickers I have in my collection. The specialty paper with this collection was a printed vellum, and it's all different travel tags, and this is just begging to be cut apart. So definitely won't be leaving it like this, but as a border or cut apart, awesome. All right, there's also down here on the bottom, so we'll skip the pattern paper, the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet, which is one of my favorite things from Crate Paper's collections always. This is kind of the same thing as that sticker sheet. There's a lot of things that could be used that wouldn't have to be with weekend or getaway pictures. So super versatile, really, really like it, and I love that black and white contrast with some of the colors. So super fun. All right, this paper is Highway, which has um, all of the little trailers on one side, and then kind of a neat pink polka dot -y pattern on the back. And this one, I fully intend to either use these as a border or cut these out. They are just way too cute. All right, this one is called Fly Away, and it has flamingos on one side, and some green kind of ivy-ish two-tone on the back. So it's got that darker green with like a turquoise color. And this side is a little bit busy, I will tell you. But this side looks way too fun. So I'm definitely going to try and use this side. 
Uh, this one is Sunshine. It has that really cool black and white contrasting sketchy look to it. Love it. And then a really nice turquoise. And I always have such an easy time using ones like this, especially to map photos or to be the background of a page um, with a cardstock in the middle. Because there's enough of a design that it creates that interest, even if you're only using a small border of it. Uh, this one is Sunset. Just kind of an ombre variegated watercolor look. Super, super pretty. And then those amazing uh, brush stroke black and white waves on the back. Uh, this one is Spring Break which has this wood tile kind of pattern look to it, but it also has some real faint stamping that kind of adds something a little bit different to it. So I really liked this one. I love my wood grains, so anytime I can find something a little different in the wood grains is awesome. And then some uh, pink background with just some palm fronds on the back. Um, a beautiful floral, this one's called Getaway. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And the leaves are and flowers are perfect for fussy cutting. So sometimes you get a floral and you're like, there's no way in the world I could cut that out. This is not one of them. This one actually looks doable to do some cutting. And even to do some stitching detail, they're perfect size for that. And then the back is also amazing. That watercolor brush stroke weekend black and white. Love it, love it, love it. And the cut apart one is called Palm Springs. And this one is a little bit more themey, so not as much usable here if you don't need it for summer getaways and vacations and things. So not as usable that way, um, but really, really cute for summer photos. And then the back is this three column um, striped pattern with the three different colors, main colors from the collection. And I think this one I was really hesitant to use at first, but I think with the right embellishments and things, this could be really, really cute. All right, so that's going to do it for Crepe Paper Oasis, and I'm going to come right back with the next collection. All right, guys, this one is Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. Also super, super cute, and so I'm going to go through. There's a couple things I would recommend, a couple things not so much. So I'm going to try and go as quickly as I can through this one as well, and then we'll call it an end for this video, and I'll do the next one. So I basically have each video set up into two collections each, so you'll see two collections in each video, and you can kind of pick and choose what you want to see, or you can sit down and watch them all. All right, so the puffy stickers in this collection are also about my favorite thing in the entire collection. I just love, love, love puffy stickers, and I find them the easiest thing to work with because you can add them to little embellishment clusters. So this one is great. We've got the bows, we've got butterflies, a chasing dreams, and some other really usable figures. So this one is perfect. Um, I will tell you a quick disclaimer here, guys. I did not buy all of this collection. I didn't buy all of any of the collections. Um, but I didn't buy all of this one because I did know that my new hip kit is stuffed full of um, this product line. So you will see a little bit less of it in the video um, because I have more coming. All right, so 6x6 six six paper pad. Like I said, I almost always buy the 6x6 six six paper pad. I really like the frames, some of the watercolors. Uh, there's some really great books throughout this collection. Um, and that same black and white contrast that I really like from Cray Paper shows up in this collection as well. So that's just awesome. All right, we have the ephemera pack, of course, and this seems to be her high ticket thing, the things that gets to be kind of hard to find with Maggie Holmes collections. Um, lots of tags and frames in this one, not so many words. So we're really only getting just this hello and then a few phrases, but that's really the only um, word that's title size. A lot more tags in this one, and there are only 37 pieces, so they're a little on the smaller side than what we're typically used to getting. Um, this one is the sticker sheet for the phrases and labels, and I absolutely recommend this one. It is beautiful. There is some gold foil detailing. There's also some of the colored strips, really usable phrases, things like love you, you're the best, magical moments, and a ton of really cute tags. So this is one that I wish I would have bought two or three packs of instead of just one because it is super, super like usable. You can use this on anything. Super awesome. All right, these stickers are the Cloud Alphabet. Um, they're that kind of matte finish, um, vinyl-y puffy sticker. Um, these are really, really similar to some other stickers that I already have that have come in past collections within the past year. So this one isn't necessarily something I would tell you you have to have. Um, if you've bought a lot of collections in the past, they're really usable and they have a lot of vowels, which is awesome. 
Um, but not something that I would put on my, oh my gosh, I have to have this list. Um, the other thickers with this collection were called Dreamer. And they are a gold glitter finish. And they're on yellow. Or not yellow. Oh my goodness. Pink. Pink, people. They're on pink. Um, pink foam background. And these are really similar to an older set of thickers that I've seen lately at Tuesday morning that are the same gold glitter with the pink foam backing. The difference with this set, and the only reason that I got it, is that it's all lowercase. So that's very different than most of the thickers that we see, especially in the glitter fonts. Um, so I wanted to have a play with those, but I wouldn't say you absolutely had to have these with this collection either. All right, 12 by 12 sticker sheet, give you a quick look. Really versatile, love this globe. There is um, some of that gold foiling detail throughout this one as well, but it's real subtle and I really like that because it's not overwhelming. And then they also have given you on the back lots of labels, little hearts, tickets, things that are really, really, really functional and create awesome layers. So I really like that part. And you do, of course, get some of the birds and florals and things that Maggie Holmes is known for. And then we also have the chipboard shapes. The gold in this one is a little more overwhelming, so it's not quite so subtle. Like you have this huge gold frame, um, a lot of a lot more bright gold. So if you're not a huge gold fan, the sticker sheet is going to be a little better for you because it's not quite so in your face. The chipboard sheet has a little more of that gold, so it is a little bit more in your face. And even this Dreams is completely in that metallic gold. So that's awesome. Very cute. Um, the two washi tapes that came in this collection, and the reason I bought them is because they are super, super versatile. And I know it's hard to see. I haven't taken them out of the package. But this one is like a mint greenish tickets that just say admit one. And then this one is a yellow and pink stripey, like a tag type of ticket. Um, looks really similar to something that came in a Studio Calico kit quite a long time ago, but it looks real similar to that. And super fun. Goes really well with the collection, so I'm excited to play with those. This paper I am so, so, so excited about. You need this one. Um, this one is called Library, and it has all the book covers on the front. And I am absolutely going to turn this into a really cool border with a whole lot of hand stitching. So be watching for that one. That The minute I saw this paper, I'm like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing with that. And then on the back is this real faint, um, kind of like a mintish green distressed um, herringbone stripe. So that's cute too. Definitely usable. Um, this one is the cut apart sheet. It's called Adventure. Some of the same images you just saw on the book covers. So there is a little bit of repetition, not a whole lot. This one I think is the main one that shows up uh, twice. But this whole row of tags down on the bottom. Love that. Love my cut apart tags. And then a really, really easy to use blue polka dot and grid pattern on the back. So that one's a good, good purchase too, easy to use. All right, this one is cheerful and it has a bunch of birds on their little um, perches on the front, different colors, same Maggie Holmes, typical style, and then some yellow ledger paper on the back. Uh, this one's destination. So kind of a vintage um, pink tone on tone on the front. And then the back is this huge uh, pink tone on tone again with some blue um, map. And it looks like this is, this is Boston area maybe. Um, so that one might be fun to play with. This one I absolutely love. So I totally recommend this one. It is called Keepsake. And this is a watercolor. And it actually really looks like it was done by you. So it isn't that fake watercolorish look. Um... And so many different colors, it would be really, really fun to play with. It's also one where if you only had a small border showing, it's going to look really good because there is so much color variation. And then this really fun kind of striped ledger paper type. Um, it's got ledger paper and music notes and all kinds of different strips in the back. So that's fun too. Um, this one is Be Happy, which is really fun. Also has a really neat pattern to it. It would be fun to leave it as is, or you could totally cut this into blocks and use each um, six by six block individually. And then a super fun polka dot on the back with polka dots that are different sizes, which I really like, and they're also a little bit different tone. So that one's really fun. Uh, this one is collected. 
lots of phrases. We saw one like this in her last collection with the, it looks like strips of tape with phrases on them um, in pink this time. But then I really like the back because it's a really bold blue and white stripe. And so I love really bold stripes to play with on, on background pages. So I really plan on using that side. Uh, Moment is just your kind of vintage looking um, calendar cards for the entire year. And then the back you get this mintish green colored distressed um, paper with the green and white. So that's really pretty too. Memories, which is cameras. These are begging me to be cut out and they even look like they're on little cards already. So this side definitely would be more of a cut apart. Wouldn't use this as a background. Um, but this side is beautiful and it's that bright blue again that Maggie Holmes has had in some of her collections lately and it's got the pink instead and it's a really, really pretty color combination together. So I really do like this one. Um, another really good floral. This one is called Garden Club. This one is not quite so fussy cut friendly as the other one that was in Oasis, but you would still be able to fussy cut this one. Same stitching possibilities, all of that. So, and a really, really pretty blue background rather than um, black or pink, which we sometimes see. So this is, this is really, really pretty paper. And then that same mint green and white distress that we saw earlier, now we have the same exact pattern, but in pink. All right, last thing, we'll try and keep this as short as we possibly can, the 12 by 12 chipboard sheet, and it is gorgeous, beautiful, stacks of books, a big book cover that I can integrate into that uh, stitching project, happy heart. These watercolor tags are beautiful, this cute little pink camera, all kinds of really fun things, and this is super versatile, would go with a lot of different projects. And so that's gonna do it for Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams. And that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, I'll bring you two more collections. And like I said, I don't have all of the pieces, but I did pick and choose. And I hope you found this useful. I'll talk to you again soon.